let's talk a little bit of NFL before we jump into our previews. Sam Ellinger, former Texas quarterback, now a rookie quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts, has apparently jumped up and closed the gap between he and Jacob Eason, who is the the second quarterback on the roster. But, of course, with Carson Wentz being out, whoever wins this job is going to be the starter for week one. Would you have ever guessed that Sam Ellinger could possibly be the starting quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts when when this thing kicks off? Well, yeah, I thought I thought there was a slim possibility, but that's only because his quarterback room consisted of Carson Wentz and, and Jacob Eason, Jacob Eason, and and Brett Hundley, who was at uh, where Green Bay, and then well, Brett Brett Hundley is one of the worst quarterbacks. In, in football. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So ad- adding him was just somebody said we need to set a couple hundred thousand dollars on fire. Let's go get Brett Hundley. Yeah, set that shit on fire right now. <laughs> They, they took four guys in knowing that somebody was going to end up getting hurt, I would imagine. The report from Mike Wells over at ESPN says Ellinger, who was selected in the sixth round of this year's draft, split first-team practice reps with Eason in practice on Tuesday, will continue to do so in Thursday and Friday's joint practices against the Carolina Panthers. Frank Reich said, against the Panthers in, in the game on Sunday, I won't try to split like that. We'll just let one guy go. Jacob will probably start. Sam will probably come in whenever. But that's up for debate. So, uh, Reich said Eason was in the driver's seat to be the starter, but but things have changed as that Eason was getting almost all of the first-team reps, and Ellinger has played so well that now they're splitting them, and who knows what's going to happen after that preseason game. So, let me, let me tell you what I think. I think normally I could care, no, I care nothing about preseason at all, at all, but if you're going to watch preseason games, watch the Colts. Yes. Because... Because I think you're going to see the starter play a lot for a long time. Oh, and yeah. Or there's more starters play longer and actually try stuff because they need to figure out which one of these guys can be a quarterback. Birdie says he thinks Wentz will play week one, boys. I don't I don't think that's how medical science works. Yeah, I don't I don't think so as well. I, I don't. They, they gave us a, a, a five to 12 week window. He's not coming back in four. No. No. Or and, five. And would you bring Wentz back? Even if he does get whatever healthy by week one, oh, if no Quentin practice at all, it, no practice at all, and if you don't have Quentin Nelson there to block for him, no. I'd toss out one of the rookies or this, or Eason, this is a, the second this year. Is guy. A foot, this is a foot injury for a mobile quarterback who's not very good at all anymore, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, Matt Miller said Sam has a non brain dead play caller and good pass protecting O line now. Andrew said, I feel like Eason makes that offense incredibly boring and predictable. Well, I mean, that's what he did at Georgia and and Washington, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what Reich is going to do. Obviously, I think we we both think very highly of Frank Reich. So I do do a lot. I think, yeah, I think he's one of the best play calling, you know, head coaches in the game. Probably one of the best play callers in in the game. He's he's in the same conversation with me as Kyle Shanahan and and, uh, Sean McVay and those guys. Yes, I don't see. Look, he's he's not as young or as pretty as those guys, but that, this is football, man. I don't give a shit about that. Same here. Same. A whole lot of TV here. people care about that. I don't. I don't either. I don't either. So Wentz isn't playing Week One, says Matt Miller, on a bad foot versus that schedule with no Nelson not happening. Yeah, they got the Seahawks in Week One, so no. And then Matt said you have to get his tissues back up to tolerating the speed and demands needed to play. So the smart thing to do is grade him back into playing. And so, so Matt, you're watching this. You have heard about these foot injuries. I I know that you know all about this. And this is not a five week injury. This is more so closer to the twelve week, I would imagine. And and I'll let him respond. But I there's, I'm just I'm shocked. I'm shocked that Sam Ellinger, who I didn't think could throw the football based on what I saw at Texas, I I did not think that he would even be in contention for this job. Uh, Birdie said he runs on first down way too much. Matt said that the injury is much closer to 12 weeks. Yeah, 12 weeks is going to be rough. That's going to be rough. So we'll we'll see what the Colts end up doing. 